a planet similar in size to Earth, but made of iron. Gliese 367b, also known as Tehei, is located about 31 light years from Earth in the constellation Sail. It's quite a peculiar planet. It is almost twice as dense as Earth and astronomers suggest that it is made of iron. In a recent study, astronomers clarified the radius and mass of the planet Gliese 367b. Discovered two years ago, the results showed that this world is extremely dense. Its density is almost twice that of Earth. Astronomers believe this is because Gliese 367b is probably a large ball of iron. The description and results of the research were published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Gliese 367b was discovered in 2021 thanks to data obtained via the TESS telescope, i.e. Transience Exoplanet Survey Satellite. It was detected using a very faint transit signal in front of the red dwarf star Gliese 367. And because the signal was barely detectable, astronomers concluded that it must be a small planet. The Gliese 367b is extraordinary in many respects. And it's not even about the fact that it orbits its star in an extremely short time. It is one of the planets with an ultra-short orbital period. In the catalogue of over 5,000 known exoplanets, there are only about 200 worlds with a similar orbit. Gliese 367b needs only 7.7 .7 hours to orbit its sun. However, there is something that has made astronomers pay closer attention to it. Well, with a size comparable to the Earth, it is almost twice as dense. Originally, its radius was set at 72%. Earth's radius while its mass is only 55%. These data were then refined using the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher (HARPS). As a result, the planet's radius shrank to 70%. Earth While the mass increased, from 55% up to 63% Earthly. The only explanation for the above data may be the difference in the structure of Gliese 367b. And following this path, we would have to assume that it is made almost entirely of iron. But how could this happen? It is difficult to believe that it would be possible for it to develop in this way. Although theoretically, the formation of this planet could have occurred in an extremely iron-rich protoplanetary disk. Therefore, we should probably assume that we are dealing only with a part of an originally larger planet that formed in a similar way to Earth. So it looks as if we were only observing what was left of it, i.e. 
the iron core. But what happened to all its rocky layer? How did this planet become flayed? The cause here must have been some spectacular disaster. It could have been, for example, a cosmic collision. Perhaps Gliese 367b collided with another protoplanet, stripping it of its rocky mantle. But there is another possibility. Well, Gliese 367b could once have been a gas giant, such as Neptune which was originally much further from its star, but then moved closer to it. Under such conditions, the star's extremely strong radiation likely, blown away, its atmosphere.